28 million Americans have an eating disorder in their lifetime. That is according to a nonprofit organization that advocates for people with such disorders. And KCRG TV9's Brian Tabak tells us of an Eastern Iowa woman who says she's been dealing with it for more than 20 years now, and now she's looking to help others. This is my son Nolan and myself. For Jamie Shaler of Dubuque, going through pictures, even the happy ones. This one was Christmas 2019. Bring up a dark past. I hid it so well, but the pain that I was feeling inside. Shaler started severely limiting her food intake at 15 and started forcing herself to vomit at 18. She tried to heal on her own, but that wasn't working. And she hit a new low in April of 2021. Sitting on the couch and crying and um, telling myself, you know, I don't want to live like this anymore. She started to see a therapist and is now a year and a half into her recovery. She started a support group, Never Alone, through the National Alliance on Mental Illness in Dubuque to help others. Everybody's journey is different with an eating disorder. And, you know, I just really want to be the voice for those who are struggling and who have not yet found their voice. Shadler says there's a teen group and an adult group that meet at Dubuque NAMI the second Wednesday of each month. She wants to dispel the myth that eating disorders are a choice. They're more to do with brain health than food. I want people to just really understand how incredibly difficult this disorder is. So going through pictures. Past July, my husband and I in Venice, Italy. Can bring back the happy memories. I felt completely defeated in my disorder, and I knew I had to surrender it. It was time for me to finally surrender it. In Dubuque, Brian Tabak, KCRG TV9 News.